Okay. Let's uh let's read this real quick. Shall we? Let's read this. Okay. Adjusting our LOL esports strategy with John Needham. One shot. Okay. So, okay. It's been a year since I wrote our vision for esports in the blog, building the future of esports at Riot Games. A lot of what was true then is still true today. There's also a lot of changing across esports as a whole and specifically within the Riot esports ecosystem. So I wanted to provide some quick updates covering what's working, what's changing, and why we're still optimistic for the future. I'm going to focus here on LOL Esports. We started LOL Esports 14 years ago. Since then, we've scaled up unprecedented ways, served players and fans in every corner of the globe, launched a second major Riot Esport event, or Esports, sorry, uh, Valorant Champions Tour slash VCT, and in turn, learned a ton about what works and frankly, what doesn't. We love LOL Esports and believe it has played an important role in helping extend the longevity of League of Legends. Because of this belief, Riot invests hundreds of millions of dollars annually in LOL Esports. Today, we are presenting a new business model to pro teams in the LCS, LEC, and LCK to reflect the changes, uh, changing reality of esports. We're also working with the LPL on how their business model may evolve. The new model is closer to the one we've successfully implemented with the VCT, one with more predictable revenue for teams and financial upside driven by in-game digital items reflecting the support of LOL esports fans across the globe. Globe. What the hell? The changes we're presenting to the teams are intended to keep LOL Esports healthy and on path to a long-term sustainability. In this context, sustainability means that LOL Esports can generate enough revenue to cover the cost of Riot, our professional teams, and other stakeholders investing in our ecosystem while also providing an enduring career for our best players to compete professionally. Um, okay. Winter is coming, or is it? I want to start out with, uh, with what's working, as we believe the imminent demise of esports has been overstated. Our community engages with the sport have uh, with more than ever. The 2023 season and 2024 start have had milestones that give us much confidence in the future. Our 2023 global event viewership was incredible, new formats, etc. Um, okay, it's going over to this. In 2024, we launched with record-breaking viewership numbers, and we can't wait to debut our Hall of Fame. Hall of Legends, plus Spotlight, the best competition that LOL Esports has to offer at MSI and Chengdu and worlds across Europe, culminating the iconic O2 Arena in London. For the highs of 2023, however, the industry faced several business challenges, and we have not been immune to them. Most notably, in January, we made the difficult decision to reduce our workforce by 11%. This reduction impacted all areas within Riot, including esports, and we are in the process of adjusting so we can deliver the esports you know and love, but with a focus on what moves the needle for the ecosystem at large. Many of the challenges I outlined last year all, are also still true today. We are, we all, leagues and teams alike, are overly reliant on sponsorship as a revenue stream. The sponsorship business across the industry slowed down in the wake of post-COVID. Is, all right, so hold on, I'm going to make a prediction here. Is this, I know it's coming at some point. Is this the introduction of gambling? Is this where this happens? Um, okay, let's see, let's see. I, 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 I have not read this yet. Many of the challenges I outlined last year are also still true today. Uh, okay. In recent months, however, we've been happy to see the economy regain traction, bringing an uptick in sponsorships across the ecosystem between Progressive, Coinbase, and uh, Honda, among other sponsor low <clears throat> team organizations. Uh, the first few months of 2024, we welcomed new partners like HP's Omen, HyperX, Uber, uh, AT&T, uh, Pagoda, and Heineken uh, to our shared ecosystem. Oh, is that, is that alcohol? Oh, my God. Promoting alcohol? Ridiculous. Uh, equally importantly, we recently extended and expanded our agreements with some of the most iconic brand partners in our portfolio. Kia since 2019, MasterCard since 2018, Mercedes-Benz since 2020, and Red Bull since 2019. We've humbled by this grown... <coughs> by our deep... Uh, sorry, we're humbled by this growing roster of regional and global partners that share our deep passion for games and sports. In addition to the sponsorship business, we remain focused on building... Okay, okay. Adjusting our strategies to 2025. Okay. The needs and realities of the ecosystem today are different than they were just a few years ago. It's time for us to adjust LOL Esports to reinforce the sport's longevity and reshape the business model, powering it so that it's viable and sustainable for us, our teams, partners, and pro players. We're committed to supporting the ecosystem, but we believe that we can and should do it in a more scalable way. That's why we're offering a new partnership model with our teams' partners in the LCK, LCS, and LEC that resembles the model we've implemented in the VCT. In the current Lowly Sports Partnership model, teams committed to pay $10 million to participate in a league and receive 50% of certain revenues, not profits, generated by that league. Most of this revenue has historically come from the sponsorship and, to a much lesser extent, media rights. The intent of the original partnership model was, one, give the teams a long-term slot, uh, etc., align the incentives, etc., uh, give teams a way to share the financial success of the league when we first introduced. We want teams to succeed, and we've worked with them to help improve their cast position and refocusing, etc. For example, we've opened up a new team sponsorship category, tested our policies and competitive calendar to unlock more opportunities for teams, okay? Yada, 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 okay. 
this is very long, by the way, so I'm, I'm going to start uh, because I, I don't want to miss the next draft. Uh, align financial incentives. Today, I'm outlined to owners a proposed new team partnership model that looks much like the VCT model. From a team revenue perspective, teams in the LCK, LCS, and LEC will still retain their rights to the slots, but their new business model better reflects our collective business goals for esports teams. They're similar to what we set out to achieve originally with LOL Esports. We want team partners to participate in the upside of our esports. We want to align the financial incentives between teams and leagues. We want to give uh, teams some predictability on uh, revenue share so they can manage their businesses sustainably. Under this new model, LCK, LCS, and LEC teams will be paid a fixed stipend and share in revenue from LOL Esports digital content sales. This model shifts the revenue sharing mechanism away from sponsorship sales as the primary revenue source and focuses on digital content sales, okay? Which are generally more resilient, okay? Uh, okay, okay, okay. General shares, 50% of the group. Competitor share, fandom shares, the remaining 50% of the group. GRP goes into fan, okay. Bol bolster, etc. We're in esports with long haul commitment and number one esports. Okay, so they did not announce gambling yet. I do not know when that happens. Um, I don't know when that happens. But uh, I so as I began reading this, I thought that that was the. I thought that they were going to announce uh some some gambling sponsor. Um, that that's what I thought. Um, obviously, like, they brought alcohol back in, uh, there, there's Heineken, right, uh, that was brought back in, they used to be Bud Light and LCS and whatnot, um, and obviously I think that they, they've, like, played around with, like, forms of it using, like, the, the fantasy betting and stuff, um, and other stuff, but I do, I, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Alright, and we are gonna be back, uh, in draft in a second. I love this TV, I love this screen.